For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at Witcher 3 Easter eggs you might have missed. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Have you ever come across these Easter eggs? Are there any notable ones we missed? Let us know in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Madonna Fan Whenever you have a huge team working on a massive game, there are plenty of opportunities for people to sneak in throwaway references to their favorite things in places as small as NPC dialogue. In the Blood & Wine expansion, a drunk Beauclair will quote the famous Sasha Baron Cohen character Borat. Or, if you want to look to the main game, during the Return to Crookback Bar quest, a witch hunter will say a line referencing The Departed. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe go f yourself. Still, perhaps the most out-of-place reference comes at Kate's Brothel, where one of the girls gives an apparent reference to Madonna's song, Material Girl. It's a material world, and I'm a material girl. Getting Permit A38 Welcome to Gianfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? Anyone who's experienced bureaucracy in any form knows it can almost be comically complicated, which is what our Witcher experiences in the Blood & Wine expansion. Geralt has to prove that he's not passed on by acquiring Permit A38 when trying to take money out of an account. To reactivate the account, you'll need Permit A38. For more information, Please go to window number one. He then is sent on a wild goose chase to various service windows, who themselves don't seem to know where to get the form. Anyone who follows the classic The Adventures of Asterix series might have picked up the reference to a scene from the 1976 animated film The Twelve Tasks of Asterix. Even if you didn't know what it was in reference to, it's a funny scene regardless. <sighs> Just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. The Witcher 2 Tattoo. Anything like what? Such a sight! Meaning? Better you don't remember. But I want to know. Given the explosion in popularity of The Witcher 3, the third installment in the series served as the entry point for many gamers. Unfortunately, this meant you didn't get to experience Geralt's journey fully, nor experience the cross-title effects of choices from previous games. Only people who played The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings would have found this little detail. Five of you came in, or crawled in. I should say. I was crawling. Indeed. After a drinking contest in the second game, Geralt gets a rather adult tattoo, which the player can remove or keep. If the player kept the tattoo and imported their save to the third game, the tattoo would have remained. It's a fun way to entice more players to go back and play earlier entries. Speak if you don't want to get hit. Not just drunk, but uncouth too. Cyberpunk reference. The world where Aridan couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. With this reference, CD Projekt Red was thinking ahead. The character Siri from The Witcher games has the incredible ability to travel through space and time. But this isn't limited to just the medieval era, as it appears she flashed forward all the way to 2077. When recounting her adventures to Geralt, she mentions a world with flying ships where people have metal in their heads. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Fans were quick to make a connection to the company's next release, Cyberpunk 2077, and tirelessly worked to find Siri in the newly released game with limited success. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. Quentin Tarantino references. While slaying the various monsters that inhabit the continent, things are bound to get bloody. So why not give the nod to a director known for the violent content of his films, Quentin Tarantino? There are a few small dialogue mentions you might notice. For example, in the basement of Crow's Perch Castle, two guards casually mention waking up the Gimp in reference to the Gimp character from Pulp Fiction. Well, bring out the Gimp. Think the Gimp's sleeping. But the biggest acknowledgement to the filmmaker is with the references to Kill Bill. The quest, following the thread, involves searching for several assassins in a revenge plot, including Carradine. Where's Yad Carradine? Talk. Who? But what's even better is the retired master blacksmith in Novigrad called Hattori. Are you getting all of these? An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, indeed. I am. Sacred Cows of the White Orchard. 
This was a cheat that eventually became an in-joke among fans. The player would kill the cows in White Orchard, loot their hides, meditate and wait for the cows to respawn, repeat the process, and then sell this infinite supply of hides for crowns. In order to fix this, CD Projekt Red patched the game with a little deterrent, a level 27 short. This was fairly early on in the game, so if the player tried to use this exploit, this monster would spawn in and very quickly kill any inexperienced Witcher. It was aptly named the Bovine Defense Force Initiative, which later became a challenge for more experienced players and got referenced by the company in DLC Gwent cards. The Murderous Rabbit of Benick During the The Truth is in the Stars side quest, Geralt will come upon a gruesome scene of blood and bones outside a cave near Benick with a snow-white hair nearby. Anyone who's a fan of Monty Python will instantly recognize this as a nod to the killer rabbit of Ker Benick, a hilarious monster the heroes of the Holy Grail can only eliminate with the Holy Hand Grenade. While the Witcher doesn't have one of those on hand, the player need not worry. While the creature is indeed invincible, it remains unhostile if you approach it. The Weeping Angels Interesting. The world that Geralt of Rivia inhabits is filled with terrifying monsters left and right, so these moving statues didn't seem to face him. While visiting the village of Lindenvale in Velen, there's a small church nearby guarded by two stone angels. Turn away from them for a second and you'll find that they have teleported behind, to which Geralt remarks, Interesting. Interesting. The concept of moving statues is nothing new, but fans of British sci-fi series Doctor Who will instantly recognize it as a reference to the terrifying weeping angels. Luckily, the ones Geralt encounters don't seem to be hostile, but it still might make the player jump. Game of Thrones References The legendary medieval series Game of Thrones had a fair amount of crossover with The Witcher 3. The actor behind Tywin Lannister, Charles Dance, voiced Emir Var Emrys and did an excellent job doing so. But there are a few more Easter eggs from the series strewn across the game. For example, one of the most powerful weapons in the game is the sword Longclaw, which is the same name as the sword used by Jon Snow. But perhaps the most obvious references were given to Peter Dinklage. If you visit the Kerr Almholt Fortress, you'll find the body of a dwarf bearing a striking resemblance to Tyrion in a sky cell that might be familiar to fans. Sky cells. Nice idea for a prison without bars. Shame he didn't know how to fly. Skellige's Ghost Ship. For the longest time, there have been rumors of ghost sailors and ships at sea, but it seems more tangible in the world of The Witcher. So, if you happen to be out sailing between Anskellig and Hindersfjall at around 1 to 3 a.m., you might catch a glimpse of a spectral ship rising and then sinking into the water. This is perhaps one of the most popular Easter eggs that CD Projekt Red put into the game, as it occurs every day. While there may not be much lore surrounding the ship, that doesn't stop us from theorizing the story behind this phantom vessel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.